Hey guys, today I'm making a uh, seat belt lead for your dogs or cats um, to attach mainly to a either a dog or cat harness so when they're in the car they're nice and safe you can pick up these seat belt connectors on eBay or you know the car yards auto places whatnot and um, I'm going to be doing a starlight express weave absolutely obsessed with this weave at the moment I really like it it's naturally got the holes in it so it makes perfect dog collars and belt buckles anyway all I've done the first piece I've just wrapped it through and I'm going to wrap the second color around and uh, we will get started Okay, so here we go. I've got it threaded like so. Come up until there. Let me set up my camera a little bit. Okay. So I split those two apart. Take these two out here. Start with the outside one first. And behind. Pull down and pull up. Pull down and pull up. Make it nice and tight. Same with the other side. Press it over. And behind and through. So I pull down and pull up. You're fairly tight. Okay. Now we want the so to start off with. We want the outside colour one strand, just to start off with, and then we'll start our pattern. So now we come over with the pink. And you want two of those. Okay. Do the same on the other side. Come over with the pink over the top of the pink in behind with the, the black and through and pull up top over the top with the pink and behind under just get all that out of the way so you can see there so you want two passes of pink then we do a black over the top and a pink behind okay on the other side black over the top Goes over behind and through. Okay, and you should have something that looks like that. Just push up and tighten. Now, with our two center pinks, you want to cross over, and I suggest you do it the same way each time. And then you could do that way, but honestly, just do it like so black over the top of these two strands this comes over the top of the black and behind because you want to finish two passes of the the black diamond here so it normally goes two 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 and so on okay so now put that aside take the black over the top there, 
pink over the top of that and behind. Hope it's not too confusing. And just make sure they haven't crossed over. There we go. Okay. So now we do a pink. side, pink over the top, do that again, pink over the top, Do black diamond over the top. Pink over that. Okay. Now we take our pink, cross it over again. Okay. The black we want over the top of these two strands. This pink comes over the black, underneath, behind, and through. Same as before. Let me pull that tight. So take our black. Sure, these haven't crossed over. So we see. Okay, so we've got basically pink, pink. Then we go one strand of black, cross over with the pink, another strand of black. Then we go pink, pink, one strand of black, cross over with the pink, and then we go black and then pink, pink. Okay, so now we do the pink. Okay. And we do one black over the top of these two strands. Same on the other side. And we cross over that pink. Okay, black goes over those two strands because we need one more still. Behind. crossed over and then we do our pink okay so I'm gonna pause it there and continue all the way down and I'll get back to you in a moment okay so I'm down to the end there as you can see, looks quite nice. What I like to do when I get down to here is instead of just cutting and singe, singeing it, I like to put these pieces back through here. So what I'm going to do is put these 
on a fit or grab your little little nose pliers and pull them through and that gets them to the back. everything to the back and then we can deal with it there and as you can see there what I like to do is put the ends on the needle nose pliers and I like to feed it up under there cut and singe it okay so I'm going to do that now pull it reasonably tight then you would snip it and just give it a light singeing so it doesn't fray but you get the idea do the same with the pink do the same on that side and I'll get back to you well there you go guys I've finished it what I did there focus it's just snipped it and singed it three's fine but I really like that pattern Starlight Express and that's for the seat belt. So you would take your harness. I uh, tend to use the middle one on your dog or cat. And you'd plug that into the seat belt. And if there's an accident, well, you get the picture. Anyway, guys, I used um, 13 feet of each color for 11 and a half inch length from t there to there to the buckle to the buckle. Okay, um, really it's what size animal you have and what size you wish them to have freedom to move around. Um, realistically, less freedom the better, I think. But yeah, it's uh, quite nice. Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe and uh, check out my uh, Facebook page, Paracord Always. And uh, I did learn this weave... Oh, oh god who did I I can't remember now look I'll put it in the description down below I can't take credit for this uh, I did follow a tutorial uh, a few weeks ago of a couple of great people on YouTube so I'll give them a shout out in the box below but anyway guys have a nice day thank you